Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to downshift a 10-speed transmission. So if you want to get a CDL license, maybe one of your fears is, hey, I've never driven a truck to trailer before, I've never even driven a stick shift car. How in the world am I going to be able to drive a tractor trailer? Well, two things to say to that. One, a lot of the tractor trailers today are actually automatic, which means you don't have to worry about shifting. Two is, when you come to our school, we have a state-of-the-art driving simulator just like this, to make sure that you understand how to shift properly. Today what we're going to be teaching you is how to downshift. So this is just going to be a basics video. If you want some more information, the best thing to do of course is to come on in and become a student here at Driving Academy. Give us a call below to find out more information, 908-525-3609. So let's talk about what downshifting truly is. Downshifting means that you're going from a higher gear to a lower gear. And the reason you want to do that is to uh, reduce your speed and get more power. So there's main two reasons why you want to do that. So you're just driving on a level street. You want to all of a sudden start to reduce your speed. And instead of pressing the brakes and wearing out your brakes, you want to start downshifting. That's the best, uh, best scenario for you. Or say you're going up a hill and all of a sudden you need more power. If you keep it in a high gear with high speed, that's less power. And all of a sudden you're really going to start losing your traction and losing your speed. So when you're actually going up a hill and you're fully loaded, want more power, a good thing to do is to downshift while you're doing it. So, one thing that I wanted to let you know is what I'm about to show you is completely different than downshifting in a car. Uh, so if you have this car mentality in you, this is going to be a completely different story. And that's why sometimes it's actually easier to teach somebody who has never driven a stick shift before rather than teaching them how to do it in a truck. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're gonna just going to go through this, go through the motions. Like I said, this is just a basic training video. We're going to start off in 10th gear. Now, like I said, this is a 10-speed transmission, which means this is split into six different gear, six different positions. You're going to have reverse in the front, uh, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. That's all with this T-bar being down. Once you flip the T-bar up, and then it's going to be sixth gear, seventh gear. Uh, eighth gear, ninth gear, tenth gear. So we're actually going to start off in tenth gear. So imagine we're driving down the road, everything's kind of moving forward, and now we want to downshift because we want to slow down. So simple step process. Step number one, come off the gas, okay? If you want to uh, slow down drastically, you're going to press on the brake a little bit. You don't want to, you don't want to press on the brake too much. All we're going to do is we're going to let the RPMs drop to 1200 RPMs. So you want to make sure you're checking your dashboard. Once the RPMs drop to 1200 RPMs, you're going to give half clutch into neutral. You're going to give it gas while you are in neutral to raise the RPMs up to 1600. Once the RPMs are at 1600, you're going to give it half clutch into ninth gear, off the clutch, and now you're in ninth gear. I know that was a lot that happened. If, like I said, if you were driving a car before, this is completely different than anything. Here, you're going to have to do what they call double clutch. So, let me show you again. We're in ninth gear, we're going to go to eighth. We're going to clutch into neutral only at 1200 rpms once well into we're in neutral we're going to give it gas and then up to 16 and then clutch into eighth gear so one more time and full speed is going to look something like this clutch gas clutch and that's how fast you have to do it so now we're in seventh we want to go down to six we're going to let the rpms drop to 1200 rpms here we're just simulating it and then once they're at 1200 we're going to clutch into neutral gas up to 16 clutch into six gear off the clutch now when you are giving it gas in neutral don't be afraid to give it full gas all the way to the floor because you want to raise those rpms quickly because while you're neutral the vehicle is still traveling and you never really want to travel too far in neutral because you're losing control now once you're in six gear in most situations you can come to a, you can come to a stop safely in six gear you're going anywhere from 10 to 15 miles an hour anyway and they track the trailer so it's very easy to go to a simple stop in six gear so there's really no reason to downshift below six gear but just for practice we're going to down we're going to do it just to show you so now we're in six gear we're going to put the t-bar down while we are in six gear we're pretending that the rpm dropped to 1200 rpms we're going to clutch into neutral gas to 16 again clutch into fifth gear now the same type of thing we're going to go all the way down to one so clutch into neutral at 1200 gas up to 1600 clutch into fourth gear remember you're given half clutch if you give full clutch you're going to engage you're going to engage what they call the clutch brake so let's do it again our rpms are at 1200 clutch into neutral gas up to 16 clutch into third gear 
Now we're gonna drop down back down to 1200 RPMs, clutch into neutral, gas is 1600, uh, clutch into second gear, and lastly, clutch into neutral at 1200, gas up to 1600, and clutch into first gear. And that's pretty much how you downshift from 10 all the way down to one. Remember the two main numbers is 1200 and 1600. It doesn't really matter what your, what your vehicle, what type of vehicle you have. Those are usually the RPMs that you're gonna to need to know. A lot of people talk about the speed. If you just worry about the RPMs itself, you don't even have to worry about the speed. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you share it out to somebody who's learning to get a, a CDL now. If you want to get better training, more hands-on training with us and our team here at Driving Academy, give us a call, 908-525-3609, and then we can walk you through the entire step of the process. You can actually take a seat here in the simulator. Thanks, have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really gonna help us out. Click on that button. And if you wanna continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.